stampers I'm glad to see you back for the fourth and final video in my floral boutique suite video series um, today I'm going to show you how to make this thank you card uh, the first video in my series last week we used the floral boutique designer series paper and if you remember, we cut those into four by four squares and I showed you a technique that allowed you to make several quick and easy cards. The next card or I showed you in the video series use just the floral phrases stamp set. The second or the third in the series yesterday's video I showed you how to make a card focusing on simply the three um, what do I say three detailed floral thinlets um, and I showed you how I had made blank cards so that I have those available at any time for any reason for any sentiment but in addition to that, I pulled some stamps from the Floral Phrases stamp set and then uh, turned the one I showed you in the video into a wedding card. So today is the last of the series and I am showing you one that focuses on using both the thinlets and the framelits together. Or I'm sorry, thinlets and the stamp set together to make a thank you card. So here is the basic card. And I have two that have slightly different versions. On this one, you can see that I added a double bow using the Knight of Navy Baker's Twine, also part of our series, or suite, I should say. And on this one, I added five tiny basic rhinestones under the word thanks to add some bling and um, make that thanks stand out on the page on your card. Um, so let's get started. I also should show you that I did pull a stamp from the floral phrases stamp set to decorate the envelope with. Okay, we're ready to get started making this beautiful thank you card and coordinating envelope. I'm just going to set this aside. Yesterday's card, we used all three pieces uh, that come in the detailed floral thinlet set. Today, we are not using that smallest piece. Um, but we are using these two that make the lace patterns. So let me bring in my Big Shot. Again, I'm using the multi-purpose platform. I'm using, I've got my pieces ready here. I'm going to use a piece of Whisper White cardstock that measures five and a quarter by four inches. Okay. I'm going to be running both of these thinlets through the Big Shot on this one piece of cardstock. And you can see there isn't a whole lot of border around the edges, but you can see that my edges all the way around are pretty, um, pretty evenly set. So I'm going to put the top on this and roll it through. And I'm going to go back through. And I'll set my big shot aside. And you can probably guess that what I'm pulling out now is the big shot die brush going to move this over here and if you flip this over you can see that um, the pieces have been cut very well so that's always nice to see but I'm going to use my Big Shot die brush going up and across on our, our 
down and across on both the top and bottom thinlets. And you can notice when you start seeing some uh, darker circles in there, that means the pieces are um, being released and coming out. So let's move these thinlets to the side. I'm going to pick this up. You can see again that most of them, I think you can see this against the black, that most of the pieces have come out. I've got some that I'm going to pull out with just my, some of the larger ones with just my fingernail. If there are some of those teeny tiny ones still, I'm just going to push them out really quickly with my piercing tool. Super easy. But it sure is nice to not have to do all those tiny little pieces. So I'm finishing there and I think I've got them all. Easy. I believe the sponge and the Big Shot die brush are $11 for the set of two pieces. So I think that's a great value. Um, I am going to use my pierce mat that I've reserved for stamping to stamp my message on the front, which says a special note of thanks to you. Okay. One thing I've noticed in my videos is I have a hard time keeping my head or the top of my head, my hair out of the videos. And I think that's because my tendency is to want to look straight down on top of the stamp that I'm stamping. So when you're seeing my hair, that's usually the reason why. Okay. I'm going to be honest and say, I don't really like the way that stamped right there. But I'm going to let it go for now just to, and I guess I could flip it over. You know, I'm going to do that. I'm going to flip it over. Because I've moved my hand a wee bit. There, much better. Okay. Somebody once told me in the stamping world that the backside of your paper or the back side of your cardstock is your best friend. And I guess this is a perfect example of that. So, okay, now I'm ready to adhere this to my card front. I'm going to put some snail across this and just a little dab in these corners. Okay. You can even use the fine tip glue pen or stampin' glue dots to adhere this lacy piece. I will say to you, if you um, did what I did, just using a little bit of snail in these corners and you see some of the adhesive through it, just use this wonderful little adhesive remover. Fix that right up doesn't do any, it's not doing any damage to my piece that I cut with the Big Shot. Um, great little product, adhesive remover for $3.50 in our annual catalog. And finally, I am going to insert a piece of Whisper White cardstock inside because of course I want to have a light colored cardstock inside to write on. And again, this is five and a quarter by four inches. It's the same dimensions as the Whisper White piece of paper I used on the front. So uh, there you have it. Let's make a fun coordinating envelope. Uh, yesterday I showed you how to use your washi tape to make a decorative front. Today I've decided I'm going to use the washi tape to decorate the flap of my 
envelope. I'm going to start with this widest one and put it right up to the folded edge of the envelope. Okay, I'm going to go a little bit beyond, tear a little bit beyond because I am going to cut those edges. I'm then going to go in with this darker pattern. And then with the thinnest pattern, the Knight of Navy stripe on the white. Okay. And I think I'll finish off. Now you could do one, two, three strips. I'm actually going to cover, I think this will cover my entire flap. Not quite. So let me do this instead. I think I'm going to do another row of the darkest pattern washi tape and then I have this just just this tiny little bit so let me um, do that finish that one off with the stripe as well I guess okay Carefully lift that off my scrap paper, my grid paper. Whoops, that last one didn't lift off so nicely. But not a problem, I can fix that. And then I simply am going to use my Scissor snips. To cut around the edge of the flap. As you re may recall in some of my previous videos, uh, we did talk about the fact that Stamping Up is providing us with more stamp sets that have coordinating greetings. For example, yesterday we used Wedding Wishes on the front and May Your Love Grow Stronger, Deeper, and More Beautiful with Every Passing Year on the inside of the card. Today, I used a special note of thanks to you on the front of my card, and I'm now going to stamp for all the beautiful, or I'm sorry, for all the thoughtful things you do to the inside of my card. Just thought of that. I usually do all my stamping at once. Right in the center. There you go. And what a beautiful card and a fun, um, decorated envelope flap to coordinate with it. So thank you. I hope you've enjoyed the four videos I featured um, or I posted using Floral Boutique Sweet products. Um, I'd love to see what you make with these products and I'd also love to see if you have used them with perhaps other designer series paper or other colors of cardstock. So please do share. Please tell me what you think. I'd love to read your comments and I also love to see your photos. So thank you once again for joining me. Don't forget to check out Friday's video for the first of my Festive Friday series beginning this week. August 5th. So thanks. Have a great day.